We're going to continue here with number 11. So we check for GCF. There is no GCF. So what multiplies to give us 36, but it's going to add to give us a negative 12. Okay, and we start with 1 times 36. That's not going to give us a negative 12. 2 times 18. That doesn't work. 3 times 12 will not add to give us negative 12. Then what about 4 times 9 is 36. That doesn't get me a 12. And then I have 6 and a 6. Now that gets me 12, but I need them both to be negative to add to give me a negative 12. Alright, once I find my factors, then I'm going to go back and put it over my first term. But the x is split up, so 4x, 4x. And then I want to simplify this fraction. 6 fourths reduces, negative 6 fourths reduces, and negative 6 fourths reduces. So I'm going to divide by 2. Divide by 2. And do the same thing on the other side, because this one reduces as well. And I write from bottoms up. So this becomes 2x minus 3. Careful with your signs that you don't leave them off. And this one becomes 2x minus 3. Alright, so then when we see these are exactly the same, we also know we can rewrite this. Or we can rewrite it as 2x minus 3 squared. Alright, let's look at number 12. Number 12, we're going to check for a GCF first. A 2 and an x can come out of everything. So if I take out a 2x to start, I'm with, left with 3x squared plus 4x plus 12. All right, we also want to check our parentheses in the middle and make sure bottoms up doesn't, that this trinomial does not simplify anymore. So we're going to say what multiplies to give us 36. It's going to add to give us a 4. All right, multiplies to give us 36. It's going to be similar to what our last one, because that was our other factor. So... 1 times 36 doesn't get me a 4. 2 and an 18 cannot get a 4. 3 and a 12, not, not possible. We just keep going. 4 times 9 is 36. That does not work. 6 and 6 does not work. So when none of these factors work, it just means that this trinomial does not factor out. So up here, number 10, where it was prom, nothing factored at all. The difference between number 10 and number 12 was that number 12, we took a GCF out first. So the only thing that we could do to factor number 12 was take GCF out. So our solution is going to show just where we factored the GCF out. And that's going to be our solution. Okay, number 13. The first thing we want to do is take out a GCF. And the only thing each of these terms have in common is a Z. So if I factor out a Z, I'm going to have... 2x squared plus 5x minus 12. Now I want to check in my trinomial that's left over and try our bottoms up method and say what multiplies to give me 24, but since that's what subtracts to give me 5. 1 times 24 is not going to give me a 5. 2 times 12 is not going to work. What about 3 times... 8. Now 3 times 8 can get me a 5, but that means subtract 3. So make sure that can get you a 5. And then afterwards you go back to your first term and we're going to divide by a 2x and a 2x. Simplify. Three, negative 3 over 2 does not simplify, but then over here I can divide a 2 out of each one of these. So divide by 2 divide by 2, right from your bottoms up, this becomes 2x minus 3, this one becomes 1x plus 4, and our original GCF, do not forget to drop that, so this is going to be our factored form, and then we have our last one, which is number 14, number 14 is a trinomial, there's no GCF that can come out of it, and it looks very similar 
to our previous ones except for we have some higher orders here so let's just work this and we'll incorporate those higher orders in just one second so we have multiplies to give us a six but it's going to subtract to give us a positive one all right let's start with multiple factors of six so one times six all right but that won't give me a one when i subtract them and then i have a two times a three i want it to subtract to give me a positive one so now i have to um, put a negative right there I come back and I'll usually put it over my first term, but since and split the x's up, so it's still so I'll have one, and then when I split that x in half, x squared, simplify. Nothing simplifies here, so that just gives me x squared minus two, and then right here, x squared plus three. And that's going to be it on section 5.5 for factoring.